up, y'all? Hey, hey. It's Mark. Amanda. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> hungry. Um, hungry. Somebody's hungry. Hungry. I'm going to eat. This is uh, October 30th, the day before Halloween. 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 We both work for a living, so we're not going to be able to do much for Halloween. You going trick or treating? <laughs> my boy. Yeah. I'll be out. Hey, I'll know I'm off. I can go. That's right. Yep. I'll be able to walk around. Um, what were we just talking about? We were talking about food. Yeah. Today, this is the vlog. Did I say that already? No. Vlog. And we were talking about our videos. Like, we know a lot of our videos are where we're sitting in a sitting car. In the car. I know those get kind of boring, but most of our videos are for information, um, for learning. We do plan this to do some more. Right, this is our free time. See, that's the thing about our our videos is we're not letting it consume our lives. We're sharing a portion of our lives with with you all, but we're not letting it consume us either. Uh, why you Why you laugh? Because um, <laughs> our life's pretty consumed. <laughs> huh? Our life is pretty consumed. With this? No. No, oh, that's what I mean. I'm not letting, things. we're not letting the videos consume us. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're pretty consumed. But we're going to try to bring some better videos too, guys, like workouts and stuff like that. I know those are intriguing and informative and... Yeah, YouTube's probably going to pick that up. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out the new Disturbed album. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I like Disturbed. I'm confused. But anyway, update on the new workout program, oh which we God. just, we both realized that Monday we're going to have to miss. So Monday's going to be a rest day. Uh, that's a good way to, when you can plan ahead, you can. Uh, Plan around certain days, like we're not going to be able to work out, so we'll work it out to where that is our rest day. Mm -hmm. And still try to get all of our workouts in next week. It will be a rest day from workout, going to the gym, but I will be working, so it will not be an overall rest day. I thought you were going somewhere. Oh, I won't be working, will I? Yeah, we just, just, <laughs> just talked about that. I'm all over the place. I don't know whether I'm coming or going after now. Mm. I do know uh, that I have been hungry. Insatiably hungry. Oh What's that mean? Oh, this is going to go good in our mm -hmm. um, our next video series. Should be just a three-part series. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it yesterday. We're going to mention it again today. But it's going to be uh, Mark and Amanda's top three um I don't even know what to, what, you, what am I trying to say? That our top three the most important, important muscle. most important ingredients to build muscle to like be healthy. Uh, you know. Well, mm -hmm. yep. Which, like I said, is we said it yesterday. It's going to be nutrition, mm -hmm. training, uh -huh. and sleep, and we're going to go into details um, on each one of those. Mm -hmm. We're not going to bore you forever, but it's no, going to be informative. And we're might, get back on track. Update. Update. Your booty sore? Oh my gosh. From leg day? That's because you got an awesome trainer. He knows what he's doing. I do have a pretty awesome trainer. I was about to tell me, I wonder if my trainer knows anything about See? emotional health no. and emotional fatigue. You do. That's, do. that's where you come in. I'm trying to figure out how to find the healthy balance because physical health is what we do. That'll be our next series. Emotional health. I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find balance. Look, so. my phone, my phone's in the in the video. <laughs> See, hands free. We're not we're not doing. So my booty's sore. My inner thigh is sore. I mean, what did we do? We reduced the number of sets we did yesterday. We reduced the number of exercises, but we, did, but we did a quad dominant oh leg routine. And on our next leg day, we're going to do a hamstring dominant, which I'd say your glutes are sore because you activated them during squats. We did a lot of squats. We did box jumps. Hey, we I went 10 legging. pounds heavier on we squats. Did. I did too. I went up on squats. My knees are sore today too from that. Are they? Mine now are this sore. is a, you know, this vlog is a great idea. I think if people will 
take the time to watch it because it's informative for people our age. I mean, these guys in their late teens, early 20s and 30s, I mean, they're, they're probably not no, experiencing... <laughs> they're not experiencing some of the things that comes with age. Why are you hiding? <laughs> what was that, olive juice? <laughs> had to drink the juice <laughs> but yeah you know um, I'm, I'm over 40 now you're close to 40 and I think we can you know documenting our aches and pains if you will which is natural it comes with, it comes age, with but age but in a lot of aspects we're preventing a lot of things as well um, that's a fact you know I, my knees get a little sore I've had some inflamed patellar tendons over time I do a lot of stretching oh, that's where my lower back gets really stiff. Um, and again, that's stretching, keeping the muscles stretched out. All that, you know, all those things help, especially with age. And arthritis, osteoporosis, the different bone health and all that. All those things are, we're trying to prevent yes. problems with. Health is important. Planning ahead for your health is important. I think aches and pains are just natural They're with natural, age. But it's not to say that we can absolutely 100% prevent something that right. the universe decides we are going to be uh, afflicted with. Heredit her it's you know, hereditary too. Some like sort, yeah. Degenerative disc Arthritis. disease is a problem in my family. And it's probably what I'm fighting with my lower back pain. But a body in motion stays in motion. You know, and I, I'm stiff at times, but once I get up and I get moving. Yeah. Kind of works and it stretch out. it out and I, I feel great but you know I could easily just sit down on the couch and or sit down in a chair and say I can't move so and that's that's something too that like I get stiff and I get sore and it's hard to get up and it's hard to walk across the floor mm -hmm. because you are stiff and it does hurt but the more you move the more that works out of there <clears throat> but you know it kind of contradicts first aid because what do they say if it hurts don't move it well, yeah, yeah but that's well, an injury. Right. There's a difference in being injured well, and people hurting. Well, consider, my, I've injured my back. I pulled a muscle. It's an injury. It is. That's but at the same time, it's something that can be worked through um, gently and with the doctor's approval, obviously. You know. Yep. So, but I, I don't know many doctors that say, hey, go home and sit down. Right. And here's you a... Most of them will prescribe therapy. Uh -huh. Therapy is designed to teach you how to exercise and how to move and retrain those muscles to do what you need them to do then it's your obligation to do that when you get home I've seen it numerous times where people go to therapy and then when they're done they feel better and then they stop doing the exercises and then it's a it's a revolving door yeah. they, it, it's a cycle it's a vicious cycle we too often just don't hold ourselves accountable we want to blame Who's other ultimate? factors and to blame other things right you are ultimately responsible for you. Yep. I think that's a great note to end on. I think so. We too. will see you guys tomorrow. Later. Peace. In the Middle East. <laughs>